Hello spies, welcome to another all signs reading for all the signs of the zodiac. So today we're looking at how they see you. We're going to pull on somebody in your environment and let you know their perception. We'll also pull their next moves, okay? And maybe some other questions should they come up. We are experiencing a retrograde. Be prepared to see lots of past energies. They may come up into the readings or they are happening in your life. Now, sometimes past energies come up in a mental and emotional space. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to rekindle something with someone. But yeah, there's a meme I like to post whenever there's a Mercury retrograde and it's called a retrosexual. You hook up with your ex during a retrograde. Okay, ha ha he he. Let's get into the vibe today. We're going to start... Aries, by the way, hi, welcome if you're new. I am Spy. I love spying here. I hope you enjoy. All right. Aries, picking you a deck. Yeah, we're going to do this one. Yep. Some Celtic energy today. All right. Let's see who is in the vibe first. Let's identify, identify yourself. Who's in Aries environment? It's a page of cups. Very sweet. Cute. I love this. Wow. Someone is sweet. It's very sweet. It's cute. They have this endearing energy towards you. This could be someone that comes off as young, youthful, playful. Perhaps there's an age difference, but I see that this person is very curious about you and they make it known. Okay. Um, this could be someone who is, I'm hearing a showstopper. So maybe they get a lot of attention, but I was actually going to say that this person is quite open to new experiences, especially right now. They're in a season of their life where they're ready to try new things, travel, meet new people, and especially you. Okay. This person's trying to assess your situation they may be swarmed. There's either a lot of energy around them, like people, or they have a lot of things that they need to tend to. But alas, someone is thinking about you, okay? And how do they see, this could be a water sign. How do they, mm, one more on this person so we can determine them. Ace of swords, mm, ace of pentacles, yep. Right now, this person's assessing your relationship and also determining the next moves as well as what to say, you know, whatever you guys are going to experience together. I feel like this person's um, vulnerable in a cute way or a very endearing way. And that's what they're going to come in towards you. I'm also getting a lot of passion. Like someone feels... I'm getting flowing. Something flows. Um, this could be fluids. Okay. I'm not going to get into that. You can use your imagination. Um, that's their energy toward you. And this is a person wanting to communicate with you, especially about this new opportunity. Okay. Yeah. So cute energy, loving, sweet person is very curious in general, especially about you. They want to know you. They want to get to know about you. They, love your energy is what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing that they love your energy and that's just the tip of the iceberg. The energy that you have around you is making this person want to get deeper with you. Yeah. I feel like this person wants to, you know, have some intimate moments with you as well. Very strongly. Absolutely. But yeah. Are you guys strong enough to speak? Let's see how this person sees Aries. Ah, what do they want to say to Aries besides what we've said spirit? Someone thinks about commitment a lot. Yeah. So here's, Oh wow. The queen of swords and the freaking devil. Someone thinks about commitment a lot and what that looks like. I got to cover these nudities. Okay. Um, like I said, that's what they think about a lot. They're really in the energy of physicality, uh, intimate bonds, intimate moments, but this person wants to talk dirty to you. Maybe they do. And that's what they're coming in as. I feel like they want to talk about needs, desires, wants. They talk about fantasies, what they want to do to you, with you, things like this. They talk about commitment a lot or they think about it a lot, but I feel like they're coming in in an excitable way. What is this? Okay. Wow. Yeah. This person can be very intense. They may not have shown that to you on the surface. They're very meek and mild. 
this person has an intensity like a freaking lion. Okay. They are a lion. And when they see something, they, they get it. They go after it. They want it. But right now it's like kind of questioning phase, kind of poking around phase, lots of intensity, lots of attraction. The very feisty about that. Like, I feel like this person could be freaky. I want to tell you, I know I like, I apologize. The, the message is like this. I'm not trying to make it this way. I'm just telling you <laughs> normally it would just be not X rated, but yeah, see that it's very phallic. Just saying <laughs> how they see Aries. <laughs> wow. The wheel, a person's going to ask you to be receptive or whether you are, they're gauging your interest currently. They see you as quite optimistic. You're generous. Wow. I feel like you're generous. You like to spread joy or happiness or like you just have this very endearing energy about you as well. So this is why you guys connect because you both have like a youthful energy or a playful spirited energy. And that's where you meet. It's like your two inner childs, inner, inner children are meeting. It's very attractive. I, I see that about them liking this about you and you connect with them there as well. It's like you guys are open to experiment. It's like experimentation, trying new things. You know, you're very optimistic. You're sweet. You're loving. You're trusting. This person is very dirty minded right now. Okay. Where is that? How do they see Aries with that wheel? Yeah. And so the dong is here. Let me cover that up. Right. So you may be um, well endowed, male or female in the moon. Ooh, what a curious energy. Someone feels like you are like there's depth to you. Like I said, like they are only at the very tip of you or just the tip. Yeah, this is perverted energy. You guys are being nasty. All right. Anyway. They feel like you're very open to experience. You're very loving. You're very generous with your energy, especially with your love. You're sweet. It's very kind, both of you. So the fool and the moon, someone really feels like you throw caution to the wind and you're spontaneous. You're also open to new experiences. So you, this would be the type of energy where you guys go to a festival or you guys just, um, meet and immediately, um, go to another spot and try to try new things. Like, Hey, there's a hang gliding sign. You want to try that? And you guys are like, yes, like that's how you guys are connecting. This person really likes that about you that you're kind of like, Oh, you know, I've never tried that before, but I'm open to it. So this person may be a first for you. Like, Oh, I've never dated someone this age or, Oh, I've never dated someone, this culture, whatever it is. Okay. Or this type of person, something is fresh. It's new. And okay. This could be them. I'm seeing number 11 here. 11 may be significant in this dynamic. They could be feeling like, um, I've never met someone like Aries. They are open to experiment. They try new things. I feel like this person wants you to like, let go and let loose. They love your fresh energy. Like you're very fresh and crispy. I want to say crispy. So maybe you're a little bit, um, you watch what you eat a lot or you could be picky and, and they like that. You have like specific needs, but like you're open to try, like you're not set on one thing. What is this fool? Yeah. Okay. So this six, someone likes that you're very trusting and you open up quickly. Okay. So if you've had an ending or a failure in your life, maybe with this person, maybe something flopped or it failed, you get over it quickly. Like you just let it fly. You're like, Oh, well, okay. Like <laughs> someone finds this to be extremely attractive Aries. They, they like your trusting kind of like childlike nature for experiences. You're, you're just open. You're open to a lot of new things and you don't hold on to past failures. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. let me cover this up. Okay. Huh. Aries, someone feels like, first of all, 
Is this at work? Some of you guys may be connecting with someone at work. And there's questions about this. People may feel like you have someone else in mind or like you're collaborating with someone else. Like this person could think that they're like, I don't know if Aries likes that other person or doesn't know about me and them, me and Aries. They may feel like you're real close and cozy with someone that you work with. Okay. So this person doesn't know how to show you how they care about you. They're trying to figure out how to be supportive in that way. And they're not sure yet what that looks like. So it looks like this person is trying to find a way to be open emotionally, to be generous towards you, to show you what they can do. Or it feels like, I don't know how to support you, how to help you or how to show you me and who I am. That's the energy. What else is here? They may feel like you, you're you not noticing them the way that they want you to, or they don't know if you friend zone them kind of thing, or like you keep things real, um, yeah, it's super friendly and attractive, but they may feel like you are, yeah, you friend zone them or they're an acquaintance and they just don't know. They don't have enough information. Six of Swords. Oh, yeah. This person doesn't know if you want to get out of the friend zone with them or if like you're looking for more than whatever it is. They kind of feel like you shun them or you avoid them. You give them the cold shoulder here and there, but it's more so because there's a lack of an understanding. I don't see that this is something that is intentional. Now, if someone propositioned you and they wanted to make plans with you for a date, it looks like you're kind of avoiding them or... You know, you're kind of taking your time to get back to them. You're not in a rush to connect with them, like things like that. Okay. They may feel like you're, you're interested in somebody else or something else, and it may not be them. Now, let me get you their next moves here. What is their next moves? The 10 of cups. Oh, eight of cups, three of swords. Oh no. Okay, Aries, someone has this really bright idea about you too, about you guys, you know, communicating and things going very well and them telling you how they feel, you know, trying to gauge your interest as well. They have this like fantasy idea of how the conversation's going to go and how the relationship's going to go. And it doesn't. Okay. Um, I don't know if they just kind of give up on the idea or they just like release some sort of effort. They feel like, you know, your interest is not what they want it to be. Now, I, okay. They could be experiencing that or something happens, but that's what that is. Ultimately in the coming period, this person is feeling a little bit disappointed about the connection and it's causing them to kind of drop out, kind of hanging their head low, feeling a little sad. Okay. Because someone is feeling misunderstood Aries. Okay. This could be a Pisces. Um, one more here or an Aquarius. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. They feel maybe, um, you don't value this or them or something is not enough, not good enough. Okay. Aries, just a heads up. You've got someone who's got the major hots for you. They think about you a lot. Thank you. You, you know what? Check your other placements. So you're looking for more different information, but I'll see you next time. Hi Taurus. Let's go ahead and see how someone in your environment sees you. So I'm seeing like hot tea or a hot beverage. Someone could be under the weather. Yeah. I'm seeing like honey, lemon, something like this. Okay. Show me the person in Taurus environment. Well, well, what a tricky energy. <laughs> Let me see. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Venus in the second house and friggin' Libra. Who is this? You've got Libra and um, Leo energy, but they're also some Taurus. So this could be another person with a Taurus placement. They don't have to. One more on this person. Hold on. Okay. The Merlin. Yeah, there's seven of pentacles. What is going on? Okay. This person's having a lot of conflicts right now. It's like a frustration that they're experiencing. They are 
are really kind of dialing it back or sitting back and trying to work their way through something, but there's a lot of blockages here between you and them or just them in general, they're looking for a way out, like uh, not about you or the situation, but a way out of this conflict or this blockage that you guys are experiencing in the dynamic that it's not allowing things to flow. They feel more frustrated than not. And I feel like they're doing a certain amount of reflection on that. This person wants to know if they're spending their time wisely, if something is going to pay off, they're assessing the value of the connection. And if it's like reciprocated, that kind of thing. Okay. So we got a little bit of Virgo energy here too. It looks like this person's doing a lot of like, um, accounting. Okay. They're accounting for the situation. Is it amounting to anything? Is this worthwhile? Is this drama or conflict or challenge worthwhile? Are we going to make our way out? That's kind of what this is. Now, again, this may be something that they're experiencing by themselves and it would be about their work or their finances. Someone in this energy needs to adjust that. They may need to adjust, you know, what they do with their time, what they do with their finances, something like that is coming in. Now, maybe somebody is frustrated with that. Okay. What they do in the world or something along those lines. All right. So I see that coming in now. Let's see how they see you. Okay. Two cards want to come out here. The two of wands, the Knight of pentacles and the eight of wands. So you're very calculated when you make choices. You, it comes from a place of really knowing, really, it's like a stable energy about you. You make wise choices. It could take some time for you to come to a decision, but when you decide it's, that's it. Like you're in. Okay. So something about that, they're seeing about you, like you could be very practical or you make choices based out of wisdom or, you know, practical energies. You're very practical here. Okay. Let me see how they see Taurus. Ace of swords. Yeah. So there is a choice happening and here you are. You could have made a choice about the communication here. Maybe, you know, you need to talk to them about something. It could be very serious. You could be facing like a pressure point, Taurus, that they're seeing you as like, you need to get this idea or the ball rolling in some area of your life. You could have cut communication with this person, right? There's this idea coming in about, you know, your future finances and your investments. This could be taking the cake in your life right now. Maybe you're concerned with that. Like there's some worries and concerns that you have to address. And some of you, it may be your finances and how you spend your time and how you invest that kind of thing. Why do they see Taurus with this ace of swords? Because the two of pentacles. Yeah. So you go from the five to the 10 of pen pentacles. Yeah. So someone may feel like you have very strong family values. They may feel like you value, um, company family. You're very loyal to your people. Okay. The people that you care about, you keep them around. You maintain relationships very well. You stand for that. Like this is something you feel very strongly about. You also may be taking up another position or another project in your life. That's going to help you go the distance. Like the 10 of pentacles. Hello. You're going from the five of pentacles to the 10 of pentacles. You're about to get a new idea that's going to incorporate like this new fresh energy that you're going to create more out of life. So, um, yeah, maybe you're learning a new skill or you're just balancing areas of your life very well. Now, some of you, you may get news that you are going from rags to riches type of energy. So I don't know, this could have to do with family or inheritance type energy. That's clearly not everybody, but I am seeing that here. Why do they see Taurus like this? You could also one minute be very in and the next minute be very out with them. Okay. Because like you guys, maybe have conflict or drama. Sure. It could be anything. What is this? This could be with a cancer. Seven of pentacles. Yeah. So there's definitely something that you're assessing and it has to change. This person knows that you need to make up your mind about a change or there's a change that's coming in and it's going to be very fortunate for you. So you, you're trying to kind of keep everything in the balance, you know, spending time and energy wisely because there's a blessing at the end of this. So let's see. Okay. I got to cover that. <laughs> Goodness. Nine of swords. Hmm. Why 
the Nine of Swords, though. Hmm. Someone thinks that you're really nonchalant. This person could find you to be really nonchalant. Like, in general, you're kind of level-headed or you're keeping that way lately. Let's see. There's a lot of love here, too. A lot. You could be very forgiving. This may come from some sort of belief system you've been instilled with, especially if it has to do with, you know, um, I keep people who are important to me close to me type thing. Like you could be really forgiving, very understanding. This may come from a spiritual belief of yours, you know, like about forgiveness kind of thing. This person feels like you're, you, you're very graceful. Okay. And here you are in the Druid. Well, that's a higher font. Okay. It was called Druid. The seven of swords. Someone feels like you don't need to be too impressed with the situation. Like you make the best of it. They like this about you. Like you don't need someone to, you know, pull out all the bells and whistles or do all these fancy things here. You make things work. So this could be that you, you face a difficult situation, but you're very smart and strategic. So you take the lemons and you make lemonade type thing. Okay. Like you deal with situations in a very graceful and beautiful way. And so it ends up working for you. Like you make things work, even if it's undesirable or if it's like not enough, you make it work. Somehow you make things work. They don't, hmm, okay, one more. Okay, wow. They feel like you're, you don't stress too much or you don't sweat too much. Like if something's not working again, you know how to get yourself out of things or there's something about your presence. That's just very reassuring. It's like, if I'm next to Taurus, I know that we will feel safe. If we feel like there's a lack in our life or, um, you know, maybe we're not talking just being next to Taurus. I still feel comfortable and at ease like, like that. Like someone feels like you, you just your energy is also very loving is peaceful. You're very spiritual is what this feels like. Something about you is very secure and it makes other people feel safe. Okay, three of wands. The two of swords. Okay, yeah, interesting. They also like that you don't have to constantly, you know, be in contact with them or... Um, sometimes you're a little bit difficult to reach because you're kind of living in your own world or you're, I don't know, maybe you turn your phone on silent type of thing. They like that you can do your own thing and still be happy or you don't have to constantly be tended to kind of thing. Now there's some sort of change that's supposed to happen about the future here. Okay. I feel like you're very generous with your time, your energy. You may also be generous with your finances or that's what's coming into this. Like someone may be the breadwinner in this energy and the person that's the breadwinner loves to be generous to the other person. Here's the deal. Someone here, they're saying that they, they're not really loving that the thing that needs to change or the opportunity that you've been wanting to work on or wanting to change in your life is taking so long. Like you could have put it off or you could have procrastinated, um, this new opportunity, you, you know, your financial opportunity, whatever it is, like you put it off for some time. They don't like that at all. They feel like you don't really care now. Look, okay. You could be experiencing this completely differently and this just may be their perception and that's okay. But I'm just telling you what the cards say. So, they feel like, you know, maybe sometimes you're not thinking ahead or you haven't in the past. 
And it's like some sort of change that was supposed to happen is past due at this point. Does that make sense? Okay. It is like, you know, stop waiting, make up your mind. You keep going back and forth. Maybe this is about you having to quit your job and start another one, or you have to relocate and you're going to have to go without for a while, or you're going to miss somebody and you have to go somewhere, somewhere else to work on this relationship. Does that make sense? Okay. Because it feels like you're not wanting to make that compromise. A person feels like you're very self-assured. You assure yourself you, you don't need people's company. Like you're good on your own and that, that's what they like, but it's also causing a little disruption in your dynamic. Okay. Someone may feel like, you know, um, you're too relaxed about whatever this is. I guess you're just chill. Like you're chill. Yeah, you're very chill. Okay. So Scorpio, first house and Pluto. Yeah. It's like, um, someone wants you to change direction or do that thing you've been saying you were going to do, but you never did. They, they really wish that. Yeah. Ace of Pentacles. That's what I'm saying. It's right here. It's like, you've been procrastinating something. Let me see really quick. Let's go back to that. Yeah. The hangman. Okay. Oh, well, someone feels like you're not very, um, you're not okay. So there may be a lot of care and concern between you two. Like you guys could share that, like really caring about one another, really being loving or supportive to one another. But this person feels like there's one thing that is needed to change that you know about that you guys have discussed or talked about. Okay. Now maybe Taurus, you're saying this is what they were supposed to change. Sure. But you're saying like, one thing that was meant to change to help your relationship or show that you care, show that you're invested, that you're involved, that you're excited has not happened yet. Okay. Maybe they want you to show that, you know, you're excited about the future or that you are going to, I don't know, show them that you care in a different way that they've been asking for. Taurus. Okay. Whatever that is. It's like you guys have this. Yeah. You've already had discussions about this. So it's not like brand new to you, you know? All right. So there's like a big change or you have to make this life change or you have to change the way you relate to this person and it's not happened yet. That's what I want to say. So what's next? Oh, there goes that. Okay. Two Kings. Four of Wands. Wow. Eight of Swords. Okay. Um, someone's really attached to a certain way of being right now. It's, it's almost like a self-defeating energy. So yeah, maybe you're in a relationship with this person or this is about this relationship with them and where you guys are living and how you're living your lifestyle, you know, family concerns are coming in as well. And it's got people creating some stagnancy here. Maybe this is stagnancy in, um, a firm foundation in this relationship or there's stagnancy because it's like, okay, we have love and we have the finances. Why isn't it working? Or something just feels kind of, one, one roll here. They're thinking about this. Let me tell you. So 11th house, Mercury and Gemini. Yeah. This person may feel like you guys have not made progress. Um, now whatever that progress thing is, it looks like you guys have talked about it and it's supposed to solidify your relationship. Okay. So they're going to be really reassessing this. This person may start feeling like they're out of options or they're kind of like up in their head about the dynamic here. Like they're feeling they're at a loss or they can't make a choice. Now this could be like two brothers living together or, you know, maybe somebody's, um, same sex or whatever. If you're not, that's cool. I'm just telling you what's here. They may feel like your guys's passion be, is becoming more like friends. Okay. Just a heads up. See if it's not like same sex or whatever, like you guys are turning as more as friends or the passion is dying down. Okay. That could be coming into this. Just saying, 
Right. So the two of wands. Yeah. Someone wants to um, still continue here. Okay. So a person is trying to breathe more inspiration into the dynamic or maybe up your butt or you're doing that towards them. But yeah, it's supposed to spark new life. Thank you, Taurus. <laughs> um, I'll see you next time. Hi, Gemini. So let's see how they see you. And who is the person, please? Reveal yourself. <laughs> okay, it's the three cups. Yeah, they really did reveal themselves here. Oh, goodness. You got to cover that up. Yeah, someone's um, real open with you. This is a lot of lust, a lot of passion, a lot of desire, a whole bunch of creativity. Absolutely. Queen of Wands. Now, this person may start as a friend and then you guys really hit it off. Communication is amazing. It's beautiful. It's gorgeous. You guys could share the same friend group, but I see a lot of communication with this person here. Okay. This person loves being around you. There could be something that's not quite made aware yet. And I'm not sure what that is, but it does feel like, wow, this is a dream come true. This is my fantasy. That's how they're coming in. Okay. This is celebration. I see a lot of partying gatherings. Um, wait, this came up in your solo reading. Interesting. Yeah, there's a lot of gatherings, get-togethers, networking. You can be networking with their friends. A lot of exciting energy and passion and lust and desire. Goodness gracious, you and this person. Can you tell me if there's something hidden or there's an illusion or what is this? Well, the Ten of Swords, it's about you. The Six of Swords. Hmm. Someone may be overcompensating for a failure or a lack that's been experienced here. Okay. Like, you know, maybe something fell apart before and now they're coming in strong. There could be a little bit of love bombing or just like a lot of excitement. It's like, oh my gosh, I really like Gemini, you know, let me see about this three cups person. Yeah. Cancer, Pisces, fire sign, a lot of Sagittarius, any fire sign, the 10 of pentacles. Wow. This person is coming in like really trying to be so happy, cheerful, everything. And I feel like they're excited. Let me see how they see you, Gemini. Some of you, this is a Pisces. They're very attractive. They have, um, they have an effect on people. And maybe you're meeting their friends, meeting their family. Okay. I see this person when you're next to them, they get a lot of phone calls, a lot of texts. They FaceTime their family in front of you. I'm seeing that. So they see you with the page of cups and the temperance called equilibrium. Damn. Someone's got the hots for you. A lot of optimism, excitement, fun. They want more. I'm telling you right now, this person wants more. They're trying not to be too cocky with you. It's almost like they feel very confident and it's like, uh, let me just not be cocky. I want to come off in the right way. So maybe, okay. They see that you guys have a bond that you guys are getting really close together. You really make each other happy. It's not just one way. They feel like it goes both ways. So yeah. Okay. This, the star. So, wow, Virgo, North Node in the freaking seventh house, Ace of Cups. You got to be kidding me. This person feels like you and them are the perfect match right now. I'm not, I'm not even kidding. Like, it's, this is my person. We, we're destined. We were supposed to meet. Like that, like that type of thing. They feel that way very strongly, especially the seventh house and North Node. Now, one thing, though, they may feel like you're a little bit picky with them or picky about something. Okay, maybe you're picky and choosy with your partners. That's fine. I feel like you're allowed to be, right? And maybe they're just like, wow, oh, this could be them, too. They're picky with their partners are just like, wow, we just click. This is just effortless. We don't have to try. It's reciprocated. That's how they're saying. The five of cups. The th okay. Someone feels like you're easy to kind of get over things. If you guys have like a mishap or a falling out, you're like, oh, I'm sad. And then you're quickly over it. 
or I'm so sorry. And you're quickly over. You're like, all right, let's move on. Okay. Let's get it together. Let's keep it trucking. So it's like, Oh, you know, uh, forgive me, or I'm sorry about that. I feel bad about this. I wish I didn't do that or say that. And you're like, let's move on. So you don't really hold on to things. They really like that. If something bad happens, you move forward. If you're sad, you're happy again. Okay. Like you get over things. You don't really hold on to stuff, okay, like Scorpios do. Scorpios like to hold on to like some dark, you know, depressing energy and they go through it and it's like, no, that's not my vibe. This person really likes that you're not like that, okay? <laughs> sure, you can have your moments, but it's one thing to hold on to it and then and another thing entirely to be able to, you know what? I can still make this work or I can make some changes. You know, I still have opportunities in my life. It's okay. Let me see about this, please. Oh, wow. Nine of wands. Yeah. This person feels like your value system is very strong. Okay. So let's say you have a falling out with a family member. Well, you see the bright side or you come back stronger. You still, you're, you still stay with the person or you stay with your family. Maybe you guys have like a little tiff. Okay. Nothing serious. I'm not talking about like people who are fully estranged from their family. I'm talking about like your values. <laughs> okay. And, um, healthy relationships, you cultivate them when you really care about someone. This came up in Taurus's energy. Maybe you have a Taurus placement. Oh, wait, was it Aries? I don't know who. Anyway, you um, maintain the bigger picture. It's like, yeah, we may be sad one day or upset one day, but there's always another day. Okay. There's always a bright side or there's always, you know, a fight to be had, like not fighting with people, but maintaining, persevering, keep going because you know what's important to you. Now you may also... I feel it's important to maintain community, um, cultivate relationships with people. You could kind of share wealth and resources with a family and the network is very strong. So you have like family values. Somebody really likes this about you. It's like, you know how to be someone who stays around, you know, like you don't give up at the first sight of someone not tying their shoelaces. You know what I mean? Something silly. That's what it is. Because you see the bigger picture. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Okay. Someone may not like the idea of like secret family members. So like, for example, okay, this could be anybody, but they may feel like, I don't know if you have a child, you know, you're not just going to rush and, and invite someone and to meet your kid right away if you don't know them type thing. Okay. But it's like, someone may feel like you keep certain communities private or a certain family member private from them. It's like someone wants to understand that. Okay. That's a side note. That is not everybody. They may feel like your idea of home and family is different than theirs. Oh. I wonder if this is like fear or insecurity. So you may have kept something private or secretive about your family, or there's something secretive about like, let's say you won't tell them where you live. Like you're not exposing where you live. You're not exposing certain things. It just makes them question. I feel like this is not you know, that terrible. I just feel like someone's maybe feeling like they don't get it or they don't know why. Okay. They may also not know your belief on like children and how they're raised or they feel like you guys may not see eye to eye on that, but they're willing to kind of learn or, or not learn, um, understand in a different way. Yeah. So let's say for example, you do have children, you appear to be kind of like to them, they see you as kind of like 
you know, let the child learn for themselves. And they're kind of like, oh, this is interesting. Do you know what I mean? Like kind of a little bit hands off so that children can make their own mistakes. Or there's some sort of parenting belief that you have that they find to be intriguing or, or different. Some sort of family belief system that's really different. You've got like family secrets. What the heck is that? Let me get a roll on this. <laughs> Yeah, 12th house. Yep. So Taurus and the moon. Maybe this is about like family wealth. Um, secret family meetings. I don't know, man. Someone, <laughs> I don't know what you got going on. But someone's like really curious about like why you're so private about your family. Well, because it looks like you want to trust someone first. Okay. I hope we're not getting flagged for this. Okay. They may feel like too. Yeah. Maybe you don't like going out. Like you kind of disconnect for a while and you stay home or you stay with family or you're just real quiet for a while. They're like, what is Gemini doing? Why are they so private? Why are they so quiet? You know, maybe you're a homebody or you just like your family. Hello. Okay. What is this? Yeah, the two of cups. So you could want to like wait or you're waiting for your relationship to pan out a certain way. Someone is concerned that because of the waiting, someone's going to lose interest. Okay, like waiting for the either the secrets to come out or waiting for the relationship to progress. Um they may feel like someone's going to lose interest because of this. Is this freaking? Why is this frozen? Hold on. Okay. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah. Someone feels like it's going to take a while for the relationship to progress. I really hope that was recording. Um, what I said, I feel like the screen was frozen, so it should be fine. Also, there's a Gemini reading up, so feel free to check that out. Let's see what their next moves are. Someone's fearful that like, you know, waiting too long or taking things so slow and maybe they feel like you're a little passive or they don't know if you want to move forward in a certain way. Okay. Gemini eighth house and Venus. Person's next moves. Someone's secretly like in love with you. Did you know that? That could be what they don't like too. They don't like that you haven't revealed your feelings or that they want to reveal their feelings, but they're kind of concerned about the relationship. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's boobs on that. Goodness. This is a lot like not knowing what to say to progress the relationship forward. It's like, are we friends? Are we in love? Like this person is in love with you. And I feel like they want to tell you that, but they may not be sure how to. <laughs> okay what's next it's like <laughs> oh no they're getting in their head about it see and the death card it's like they're afraid to confess to you what is this please ace of cups mm. they want to confess feelings about a relation someone wants to lock it down gemini let me just tell you okay they're having difficulty they're not really sure about you and your interests, whether you want a relationship or not or whether you'd rather wait like the pace of the dynamic may be really slow or it's kind of slowing down a little bit again there's some sort of waiting period um they just don't know they may feel like they don't know how you feel okay they don't know how you value relationships they don't know how you value family dynamics just something like this okay like what do you consider your thing, Gemini, someone's curious and it's like, they're trying to figure a way to tell you they're in love with you. Let me tell you this. Okay. And they want more. Thank you, Gemini. I'll see you next time. Hi, cancer. Let's see how they see you. Well, who is the person first up? It's a six of wands. Definitely some Leo energy. Wow. And the four of cups. Wow. Your person can be stubborn, huh? 
So the person in your environment, they've got a flare, they've got a streak, it's a little bit stubborn. You may feel like this is someone who has like high taste or like nothing satisfies them. It's like they hold themselves to this caliber that leaves room for a lot of disappointment, if that makes sense. Okay, so second has Sun and Pisces. Yeah, they may be overcompensating. They may actually feel like they're reassessing value in their life right now. They could feel like, you know, things aren't really going their way, but they're kind of holding their head up high, okay? They may also be trying to assess what they can offer the world. Maybe this is for work or something that they're good at, a skill set. It's something that makes them quite happy. Okay, one more. Oh, the fool. All right, one more on this person. Four of Wands. Okay. Are you guys married is what I want to know. <laughs> okay. Or this person is, this is someone who is very committed to the idea of home, family, long-term relationships. They give a lot of their time and energy to that. Maybe, you know, they like traditional situations could be cancer. How do they see cancer or they value that. Also, though, something's not really working to their favor the way that they like. Yeah, a lot of fire. We've got some more Leo here. You got Taurus, Aries, Leo. All right. One more on this person, though, actually. So the Six of Cups. Okay. There's a little bit of a fear that's under the surface. It could be a trust issue. And maybe the trust is about security or loyalty or something along those lines. Okay. It's underlying the situation. Uh, some of you, this may be that someone's very concerned with a child or situations involving children. It's like causing a little bit of stress. Okay. Fear, nightmares even. All right. Let's see how they see cancer. Maybe they feel like you don't trust them, Cancer. There's an earth sign in the energy that could be causing a little bit of mistrust. I'm hearing misdeeds. All right. How do they see Cancer? So you look like Leo energy too. Um, a little bit of, you know, things we got to cover up on that nine of pentacles energy. But yeah. Okay, this person feels like you guys work better as a team or their life works better as a team, okay? Um, you, on the other hand, this is how they see you. You're happier on your own. Uh-oh, okay? There's this new idea that's coming in about you, like you're finding a solution on your own, or maybe you just feel like even if you're married, that whoever this is to you has not been playing certain roles in your life and you've started compensating for them. So now it's like... Where's the room for this person in your life, Cancer? That's how they see you, okay? You may be experiencing it differently. They feel like you have this new success coming to you. You're so independent. You do things for yourself, you know, and you're receiving a lot of attention for this. Maybe this is in your finances, okay? Your finances is the center of your life or um, you doing well and having a happy environment and be having time for yourself, you know, that's what your happy space kind of thing. Let me see what else. Okay. Wow. So the devil, you're, um, oops, I can't show you any of this. Are we going to get flagged? No. Um, maybe I'll try to edit that out if I remember. Oh goodness. This person sees you as finding your equilibrium again. You're finding out what makes you happy. They see you as very happy in your own skin. Like you love yourself. You love yourself enough to be at ease and at peace in your day-to-day -day life. Maybe you make time for that. It's like, I need time for myself or my hobbies, something like that. Like you're very self-fulfilled. What is a devil card? 
Yeah, there's this like earth sign energy that's coming in. So it could be your finances, right? Like you're really working hard on future stability, your financial situation and things like that. Maybe you're like newly single or you're just becoming more self-sufficient and independent. You could be like building a business, for example. Whatever it is, there's um, a really strong determination about you to reap rewards. And so that makes you be very disciplined. And I feel like it benefits not only you, but others around you. Okay. Magician. Yeah. I do feel like there's like stress either about an earth sign or like money or work. Okay. Especially with that second house energy there. It's like you really found your space in the world or you will. That's how they see you. You're not selfish either. It's just that you maybe need time for yourself or to unwind or something like that. So the two of wands. Oh, what is that 10 of swords? Four of cups. Someone feels like you're extremely decisive. You're smart. You're intelligent you have foresight you're making moves for the future if something fell apart or there was some type of ending it's like you know how to find another way okay this person likes this about you that you don't really give up you just change course or you change lanes okay like if you're in one lane and you're about to come up into like a a cluster F, you change the freaking lanes instead of going full blown into it. Okay. Like, um, you're future oriented. If something's not working, you don't force it. You, you let it lie. You're like, okay, I'm gonna try something else. And it works like something, you know how to fix things or you know how to avoid potholes. Why is this about driving? I don't know. But anyway, that's the thing. You, you're very quick on your feet. You think fast, you make moves fast and they get you out of bad situations or precarious situations. What's this? Yeah. Rebirth. Yeah. Cause you're, you don't get kept down for very long. If something bad happens, you, you work through the energy, but then you quickly recalibrate. You're ready to move forward. Maybe this is like a bad business deal that happened. Well, you you're fixing that. Okay. Some of you, this may be some sort of legality or contract, maybe marriage for some of you, but it's like, you create this tower in which you come out on the other side as a brand new person every time. This is attractive about you. Like you're reborn. You're constantly reborn or you're consistently a new person. Okay. So yeah, maybe you've gone through something in life where you've kind of hit rock bottom, but you know how to... Be reborn. You're just a new person. Okay. Okay. Start a new life, be a new person, play a different role, like um, try a different way and it works. Like you create towers doing that. This is what they like about you. Hmm. Huh. Cancer, someone feels like you guys have been slowly dismantling this dynamic with them. Like your connection is dwindling. Like you've been more disengaged. They're concerned about that. They may feel like you've got your guard up and they're like, whoa, why is cancer, you know, so suddenly passionate or so defensive or why are they having ruffled feathers all of a sudden, like I try to ask cancer a question and they bite my head off or they shut me down. Like something like that is what they're experiencing. Like they may feel like it's difficult to kind of get through to you right now or to be on the same page with you about something, especially involving the future, like how to heal something, how to fix something. It's like you've already made your mind up and you don't have room for um, opinions, let's say, okay. Or other people's perspectives at this time. And okay. It could be their perception. Let's allow space for that. But I'm just saying, okay. What's this person's next moves? Okay. Okay. Yeah. See, you've got like a new attitude and it's freaking them out. 
you're you're new again see so the same thing they like about you has them on the chopping block or they're fearful about that like someone could be wanting to work with you as a team as a partnership as a marriage as a business or whatever but you're becoming more solo like you're you're more comfortable by yourself you're not really you know you're not even going to hear any please uh oh this got him sweating i'm going to tell you that this person is sweating about that i feel like you're like slowly moving on or like you're just over it and now they feel like it's too far gone that they can't pick it up again. So here they are kind of watching. They're trying to get inside your head or understand you. They're really surprised and fearful or worried. They're very concerned, okay, is the word. Okay, yeah. So there's the chariot right there. I can't show you all of it because it's got boobs. So you got the four of cups and the mother, which is the empress energy. Okay, so Merlin. Yep. It's so funny because on the screen it's showing like the lantern toward cancer. I feel like this is a time for you. Okay. This person feels like you're not really seeing this offer right now that you could be focused on other things and you don't see growth here. They're really concerned about that right now. Okay. So this is a person in the next period that is going to be trying to understand better where you're coming from and if there are any options left here with you too, okay? Because you kind of changed lanes. You changed course and someone's freaking out. Thank you, Cancer. Check your other placements if you want. And of course, I will see you next time. Hello, Leo. Happy birthday, Leo sun signs. But this is for all Leo placement people. Let's see who is in your energy. Reveal who it is so we can see how they see Leo. Who are you? Well, it is a Sagittarius, my dear. <laughs> Just straight up, this person is super excited, excitable. There could be a little distance here. This person zips all over the place. Why? I didn't even put your thing on. I thought I did. So yeah, this person zips all over the place. They move fast. They're very excited. One more. The Two of Swords, what's this? So they go cold really fast. You and this person may be on and off. Yeah, first house, Leo and freaking Jupiter. Damn. Why is the two of swords here with the nine of pentacles? Okay, nine of pentacles. Why is the two of swords here with the nine of pentacles? The death card. Okay, Leo, does this person have somebody? There could be an earth sign here, all right? Um, let me just tell you, okay, if it's not an earth sign, it's a long-term person, long-term partner, um, long-term connection even, you know, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio energy. Yeah. This person goes back and forth a lot. So you may be dealing with someone who's all over the place, okay? They could come in and then they go and then they don't hear from them. You hear from them again and they're all excited about you and they want to come over. All kinds of that. Wow. This person, they move fast. Yeah. How do they see Leo? Well, yeah, they see you as Leo energy. Wow, look at that. Is that the, yeah, there's King of Cups. So you're really attractive. I feel like this person focuses on like your physical a lot. They could feel really strongly about you in that way. Yeah, the eight of wands. This is someone is excited by you like all the time or they're excited to see you. They're excited to talk to you. They feel like you get a ton of attention. You could also be on the go or on the move lately. Maybe you will be like there's some sort of travel that's happening. Why do they see Leah like this? 
the Four of Cups. Okay, the Nine of Pentacles again. Tenth House, Cancer, and Jupiter. Okay. Leo, something's not working in your life, or maybe that's what you've told them. Like, um, you know, maybe you're not where you want to be in life and you're ready to showcase your skill set in a different way, take on a new position, start a business. Okay. But you have a lot of ideas coming to you and it's going to get you a lot of attention. Maybe in the past people weren't valuing you or you didn't value yourself here. You may also be having difficulty in like your romantic life. And, you know, now you're kind of, understanding who you are, what you have to offer moving forward. So the Ace of Cups is here. This is a period of like healing. I feel like you've been told no before, or you may feel like you've been laughed at or something like that. But actually you're proving everybody wrong. You may not feel very independent or there's something you need to heal regarding that. Like you could feel like you're not where you need to be or, you know, you're not, again, you're not utilizing your skills. You have some skills that you're not using. You may feel like you got rejected a lot or someone rejected you, but you're like, okay, it's cool. I'm good. I'm good with myself. Yeah. I feel like keep moving if that's what you're experiencing right now. So let's see. You're really exciting, by the way. This person gets very excited about you. Like you may be very humble or you downplay the way that you feel, the way that you look, or like maybe you think you're not attractive, but you really, really are. Okay. Okay. Like you could feel like you're not attractive, but you are something about you. You don't understand your full power. This person knows that that's kind of sketchy depending on who this is, you know, because that leaves room for someone to capitalize on you or, um, be opportunistic, let's say. Okay. So just be mindful. Okay. Wow. Knight of Cups, the moon. Okay, damn, all these dongs and everything. Yeah, sixth house, Venus and Capricorn. You're really sweet, Leo. Someone could feel like you're super understanding. You're very expressive. You like when people express themselves. Someone is in love with you. This person, they feel like you're super loving, understanding. Or you could be in love with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah. They also feel like you're a little bit mysterious and this is attractive. A person feels like you're always willing to be helpful. You do things to show people that you love them. Maybe this is like, I don't know, Venus, six house. Could be something about food or you make sure that someone's healthy. Okay, you, like you could be really loving and you want to take care of people. Like someone sees you this way. Well, this person does see you this way. Yep, there's a queen of cups here too. I didn't realize. So the king and queen of cups, like you're a good partner, you're a good friend. You're, you really show people that you value them, that you care. And you may be acts of service oriented. Okay. Like you do little things to make someone feel special or important. That's what this person likes from you. Like maybe you're like, Hey, are you thirsty? Here's a drink. Or are you hungry? I made this for you. You know, it could be like homely things or things around the house that you do. Um, especially with the moon energy, like someone feels like you're really like nurturing. Okay. Let's say like you have a knack for knowing what someone needs or what they're feeling. You really get someone in that way. You guys may have like a, a moon a Venus, um, in the synastry, like a conjunction or Maybe a trine. Yeah. Okay. The, the death card. What's that? You could be a good parent as well. Like very loving, supportive parent. What's this death card? Ten of swords. Oh. So the chariot. Huh. 
Cool. Okay, let's get a roll on that. Someone here, okay, this person feels like you have experienced some ending, maybe with them, okay, something came to an ending. There could be some sort of, a lot of pain between you and them that you both have experienced in this dynamic or this relationship. Like, someone could be holding on to this. Like, a person is holding on to past betrayals, past traumas, past hurts, and it's affecting your relationship here. Something could have ended together in the past, and that's really affected your connection. Okay, it could be your home life, your family even. Okay, 12th house. Yeah. A North node and Aquarius. It could be that something in the past has really gotten you down and you kind of still carry it with you. I could be sad about that. Yeah. They may feel like... Um, your heart is still after something or someone that's not in your life. Or someone needs to end an entire situation in order to come forward. Like, I feel like things ended in a very brutal way in the past. Yeah, the seven of wands. Someone feels like you... You won't let them too close because of the way that something ended or like you haven't really flushed something from your system yet. You know, it's like you're holding on to some energetic debris, let's say, because of a past experience that was very painful. All right. So let's see this person's next moves. Seven of Cups. Well, all right. The Druid. What's all this? Earth sign energy. Someone needs to like move on from a situation or a past situation even, okay? Because this person is coming in talking about your commitment or this relationship together. There could be a Taurus or a Scorpio that someone's thinking about. Why is this person coming in with the seven of cups, the druid? Because of the world. Yeah, see? Like something, 11th house, Mars, and Taurus. Okay, yeah. Also, a person needs to disconnect from some sort of role they play in society or in a group setting. I see that here. So maybe this is someone's belief system. And that's changing. Or someone needs to end an entire situation that they're committed to. Goodness. Five of Cups. There's an ending here. They don't like that. Okay. So it looks like you guys are experiencing an ending with one another. Oh, gosh. Just showed those boobies. Uh, it looks like you guys are experiencing an ending with one another. And... That is going to make someone super sad. It, they feel really confused about that. They feel like there's a blockage between you two. They don't know what to make of your relationship. It's like, man, I really wish this wasn't done or over. They have regrets. That's what they're doing. They are having difficulty keeping hope and faith alive. It looks like your relationship is ending with this person or your situationship has ended and they're missing you or they're going to be wanting to connect with you again. Okay. Um, it's like, they don't feel like they're being chosen. So you're going to be going solo here. Yeah. 10 of pentacles five. Yep. Like, yeah, you're freaking ghosting. Damn. From the 10 to the 5 to the freaking hermit. Yeah, you're ghost in this. All right, Leo. That's what I see you doing in the coming period. Let me see why, if there's a reason. I feel like you don't have enough, like, faith or, you know, uh, you don't trust something because of that betrayal. Why is Leo doing this? Because the king of swords. Because it's head over heart energy. And you know that you have to heal or there's some things that you need to heal in your life. You also are curious about, uh, well, maybe another situation. Okay. There's a really strong desire that's coming in. 
Leo, okay? Um, this may be due to like lust or desire or passion or heat that's coming in. Okay, I gotta make a note to not show those boobies, but thank you, Leo. I'll see you next time. Virgo, hi, how are you? All right, let's see how they see you, someone in your environment, my love. First and foremost, who is this person? Who are you in Virgo's energy? Well, it's an eight of swords. What's going on, babes? It's a it's a freaking Gemini. This person looks like a Gemini. Now, it looks like whoever this is, okay, definitely in their head, lots of fears, paranoias, um, what if this, what if that? If I make a wrong move, will it get ruined? This person got disappointed by a setback or they're disappointed because they had an expectation is what I'm seeing here. Okay. Third house, Mercury and Scorpio. Well, damn. <laughs> That's kind of intense. Okay. Yeah. So something feels a little bit taboo or it's under the surface and it needs to be spoken about, but this person is stressed. Someone's sweating, stressing, feeling some type of way. It looks like you guys need to communicate about this. At least that's what they're coming in as. It's like, uh oh, what do I say? I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking about what I said or what Virgo said. I feel like this person feels a little bit embarrassed. Okay. <laughs> Let me see who this is. Who is this? Okay. With that Gemini energy too. And then, yeah. Jupiter, Mars, freaking Mercury, all of this energy is making someone feel super intense. There's tension here. What's going on? That's why they're in the Gemini energy because they feel two ways. They're trying to make up their minds. It's like, yeah, taking accountability or making something right. Show me this person. Okay. King of swords. I'm hearing womp womp. Okay. So the high priestess, someone wants to break the silence about something. They need to talk. Okay. This is like Virgo. We need to talk. I have something to say. What is this about? <laughs> 10 of wands. Okay. This person wants to give you the truth about what's going on with them. Lots of truth is coming in. Be prepared because they feel like either under a lot of pressure or they're dealing with a lot of work or like they're super stressed. I'm telling you, this person is like trying to do, to do gymnastics, to avoid obstacles. And it looks like in their mind. So they have like all these thoughts, they're overthinking, they're stressing. Um, a situation is giving them pressure or there's obligations they need to tend to that they feel pressure by, but they keep thinking and stressing about it, which is making it 10 times worse. Okay. So they want to talk to you about that. looks like they want to talk to you about that. Okay. So yeah, air sign energy, um, Gemini, we've got maybe Libra Aquarius, we've got Sagittarius. Yeah. Of course. In the, let's see how they see you. How do they see Gemini? I mean, Virgo. Damn. I called them Gemini. I mean, you, maybe you have Gemini in your placements, but anyway, that's communication. Gemini is communication. So that's, what's coming in. Okay. Six of swords. They feel like you're super stable. Something is moving slowly, but surely ahead. Hmm. They feel like you're headed towards some sort of destination, but it's going to take some time. Maybe this is like new land, new earth. Okay. New stability for you. Why do they see Virgo like this? Oh, Eight of Cups. Okay. You don't feel what they're feeling. That's what they're talking about. So maybe you're just more stable or you're more hopeful. You know that things are going to get better. Or like this person feels like you're not understanding them. Or you guys had some sort of mishap where communication was ass or 
someone was not able to express themselves properly to you. So you don't get it. So this person feels like you guys are not feeling the same pressure. Like you're kind of coasting, right? And this person's like, oh my gosh, I'm crushed. I'm getting crushed over here. I've got so much stuff to tend to, you know, all these obligations. And you're just like, what? Like you can't even relate. Okay. Yeah. This may be an, a, a water sign. I didn't mean to say that, but it's here. I was going to say, an, um, air sign. My bad. Yeah. Eight of pentacles. Okay. The thing is, this person sees you as creating plans and sticking with them. You are persevering. You're kind of, you know, doing things. You're doing things one step at a time. You're going to go from the eight to the 10, or you have a lot of potential to, they like this about you that you're very diligent. You kind of do what you say you're going to do. Is that kid going to beat the bird? I've never noticed that. Two birds, one stone could be, yeah. So you could have two major focuses right now in your life. Why do they see? Okay. This person likes when you're on your A game, when you have a plan and you stick with it, that, you know, you're very confident and you, you get going, you get moving, you know what you want and you get it. Someone likes this about you. Like you're super confident, you know that you can succeed or like you just have this self-assurance that you know that tomorrow's a better day or I'm at the eight right now, but I know how to get to the 10 and I'm confident in that. Like someone likes this. Yeah. So the Merlin. Queen of Swords. Hmm. I'm hearing double check or someone's double checking. Wow. Okay. Someone finds it very attractive that you know how to work and you know how to make things work. And when something isn't working, you find solutions. You double check or you reflect on past situations. You reflect on your prior work or what you've been doing and you assess it. It's maybe you like to spend a lot of time in reflection or you kind of like to improve yourself. You're constantly improving. Someone likes this about you. Like you're gaining a lot of wisdom and experience and you're really understanding what you're good at. And then the areas that you're not good at, you know how to maybe make adjustments here and there and see if they work. Like this is like trial and error, but it's like, not everybody knows how to do a self-assessment, you know, that takes a lot of awareness and not everybody has a lot of self-awareness. So maybe you've done a lot of reflection. Maybe you've gone to like therapy or something like that, but this is a Virgo that knows how to understand where things can improve and then make the improvements, which is a really strong trait. Okay. Someone sees that about you. Okay. Ace of cups. That's interesting. Three of pentacles. Okay. Hmm. Okay, this is going to be weird, but like, <laughs> it's like a weird thing to say. Someone doesn't like, like you're always optimistic about something. Like you could be saying like, always keep your, you know, uh, it's not that big of a deal or, um, here's the solution. You can do this instead. Or like, 
actually, why don't you try this? But it's not that that's a bad vibe. It's almost like someone feels like they're being invalidated. Do you understand what I'm saying? Um, I don't feel like you're doing anything wrong, except that someone here is talking about you and them not understanding each other, especially emotionally. Like maybe this person's under a ton of pressure and they don't want to hear, oh, just smile. You know what I'm saying? It could be something like that. Maybe it's small or maybe it's like, um, I've been through that before and this is how you fix it. When really someone just really wants you to try to empathize, Virgo. Okay. It's almost like, um, don't worry. It's going to work. But to them, because of the headspace that they're in, they're not in a place to receive that. Do you understand? Okay. I'm not trying to say you're doing something wrong. It's just the way that someone is receiving, it's coming off a different way. Okay. So let's see, what's their next moves. It's like, why? I love you. It's not a big deal or something like that, you know? And they're like, okay, but you could, of course you could say that. But I'm in this eight of swords, nine of swords, 10 of wands, and you're not, you're just coasting or you, you know, you're seeing progress and I'm not like something like that. Does that make sense? Okay. You're like, don't worry, be happy. And they're like, basically like shove it. Okay. <laughs> okay. So the next moves is the five of cups and the freaking king of wands. Why is that? Oh, oh, okay. The king of wands, the queen of wands. Someone's masculine energy is out of balance. Like someone's losing, um, I want to say patience here with that volcano. Like someone's very frustrated, especially this person. I would say it's this person. You know, they're sad about it or they have regrets about it, but they, it's like they want to make moves or make changes, but something is kind of holding them back here. What is this that they're doing? Eight of wands. Oh, okay. Something financially could be coming in. This could also be about someone, um, needing more activity in their life or needing to be able to do things, needing to be able to create change. Okay. Okay. There's also a little bit of travel here. I feel like there's discussion about apologies or making amends, but there's a change that also needs to take place. Okay. Yeah, the death card. I just said there's a change that needs to take place. Here it is. This is a freaking death card. So yeah, what's going on? Someone's in like a bad space. It's like mentally, emotionally, there's like pressure. Or feelings, okay. Um, yeah, four of wands. So this person's coming in. How interesting. Okay. <laughs> Regardless, okay, after it all, uh, I see this person. I feel like they're trying to manage affairs wisely. There's some changes that need to take place. Maybe this person, you know, shows up and they're like, Hey, what's up Virgo? Um, or let's talk or, you know, are things back together? Something is solidifying. This could be like a new home or a new relationship, a new union taking place. Goodness. All right. Well, it looks like big time energy is coming in. Okay. I see a big change here. It just looks like maybe somebody wants you to empathize with their situation a little more. Now you could do whatever you want, Virgo. It's just somebody's perception here. Okay. And I hope you liked that. I will see you next time. Hi, Libra. I feel like this deck is locked and loaded. Like it's about to explode or it's going to reveal a bunch of stuff. It's really interesting. I've never had that feeling before. Libra. Okay. Got a little distracted with the vibe, but, um, yeah, let's see who is in your energy and how they're seeing you. So who the heck is it? First and foremost, I feel like there's going to be a ton of like boobs in this reading for some reason, and I hope not. So let's ask spirit for some grace today. Let's see. <laughs> All right, so someone's coming in hot and heavy with that freaking father energy. This is emperor vibes. So you can be dealing with an Aries, of course. 
I'm hearing downward deacon. What? What's this? I don't even know what that is. Okay. Why the moon and the freaking druid? Yeah, major arcana. This person's personality is quite large, isn't it? And they're coming in with that here as well. Let's see. I'm trying to get some information. Hmm. Why the moon? Okay. So this person, um, it looks like there's all these new ideas that they've been kind of sitting on and wanting to share them with you. It's like being able to reveal some things that they've been thinking about, some plans, some ideas. So there's communication that's trying to come in. They just don't know how you're going to receive that. If you're seeing things the same as them, there could be a major commitment coming in, like being a parent to someone's child or being someone's spouse. And there's ideas about this or questions about this. Okay. Yeah. Page of Pentacles. How do they see Libra? Damn. Damn. You're like, I'll match that. Okay, yeah, someone comes in intense and you, you meet them right there. So the Queen of Wands, why is Libra and the Queen of Wands? Five of Swords, damn. Libra, you're really gonna be calling someone's bluff, calling someone out. They feel like you kind of are popping off at them or you're saying some things that are really fueled. And let me get a roll on you. Like you could be kind of um, just straightforward or like you are getting into little tips with them. So South Node, Scorpio, and the 11th house. What's bothering Libra? Let's see really quick. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords. Okay, the Three of Cups. Nine of Wands. There's something about your relationship with this person. It's like they're trying to reveal to you what they're thinking about, or there's revelations about your relationship, but you have like <laughs> something that you're holding on to that you're upset about. You could be upset about what they're saying to you and it's pissing you off. Or you're letting them know, or you're upset like of um, some meddling going on. Okay. Okay. Show me this five swords. Goodness. Yeah. Again, this same thing. People could be gossiping. Maybe somebody heard something and you know, mean spirited gossip happening. You really got to call someone out or put them in their place about it. What is this? Yeah, the chariot. The seven of cups. Damn. This person's really surprised by the way that you're snapping back at them. They're super surprised by it. Someone's friends could be an issue. This came up in someone's reading. I don't recall whose it was. Yeah, someone's friends, like someone's getting too close for comfort even, or like people's social circles are too important, you know. Hmm. This is how they see you, by the way. Like you don't like something and you're letting them know. You're real spicy, aren't you? You're getting real spicy with them. Damn, rebirth. <laughs> what is this page of wands? Okay, yeah. Someone, no, this is weird to say. Uh, someone really sees you as not wanting to talk anymore. It's, 
they like that. They like when you gain control of the situation and you don't care and you drop out. Like maybe you say what you need to say and then you avoid them or, you know, you go meet your own needs. You're like, yeah, I don't have time for this. I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat my favorite food. I'm going to do what I want. Like something about you, you're like quick to tap out when something is undesirable and they like that. <laughs> okay. You could also be very good at meeting your own needs. And this is attractive as well. It's like, you don't need someone to tell you something. Thing. You don't need someone to tell you you're important or you're brave or you're courageous or whatever it is. Like you don't need to, you don't need someone to, you know, stroke your coat. They like that. Okay. So there's some boobs here and okay. The four cups. Okay. Yeah. Someone feels like they've made a blunder and you won't get over it. Now look, okay. They may not like that, but maybe that's the right thing for you. You know, it's like, I have standards, you know, if someone's not being loyal or not being honest, then screw them. Like you could really value loyalty and someone kind of did something that's in your eyes, just undesirable and you don't like it. So what's this moon anyway, again, Oh, it's like a person has an offer for you for a relationship long-term and you're just not feeling it. You could actually just like cuss them out or say some things that are real forward. <laughs> Hold on a minute. Maybe you just want them to be a friend. You're like, what's wrong with you? Yeah, the three of swords. I feel like some kind of friendships are in here and it's like, you don't, you're not liking it. Yeah. This person you may not feel would be like a good spouse or a good parent, or like you're really assessing that something's got you feeling real strongly about this, like real strongly about someone and what they can um, add to the situation. So what happened with that five of cups, please? Three of, oh, damn. Yeah, so. It's like this person feels like you don't wanna talk to them again. Okay, let's see what they're gonna do. That's why they feel like you're not wanting to talk to them. <laughs> okay, let's see their next moves. Next moves, please. Queen of Pentacles, Ace of Cups, and the Ten of Wands. Damn, where's Libra in this? See, you don't like what they're offering you. Someone's trying to show you that they can make it work, but something's really got you turned off here, okay? Um, that's the thing. You're not, you're not feeling it. You don't feel like it's worth the hassle, the fight, the argument, the conflict, or the drama, what have you, this person. They could be like trying to assist you with something. It's like, here, let me help, or let me be um, sweet to you. Let me be kind to you. Let me show you how much I care, and let me prove to you I can fix this. I can do that. I can do this. And you're just like, yeah, yeah, whatever, or something like that. You know, you're not really, it's not it. It's just not it. could have like tried to make you jealous too. Yeah. What caused this three of swords? It's like an emotional disconnect. You don't trust that someone can do what they say. Like it's, I don't know, like someone just can't do it. Thank you, Libra. Um, hope you liked it or hope it gave you some sort of confirmation and clarity. I'll see you next time. Hi, Scorpio. Who's in Scorpio's energy and how do they see Scorp? Well, well, if it isn't a snake. Okay. <laughs> You've got a seven of swords here. Really? Of all the cards in a Scorpio reading, you know, why is this person coming in as a seven of swords? The six of swords. This looks like an Aquarius and the three of swords. Yeah, Aquarius energy. 
Could be a friend, someone has sun, moon, rising, Aquarius. Hmm. This person looks like they're laying low, but I'm not really sure why, because they have intentions to communicate with you. So why are you laying low, sir or ma'am? Like, hmm. They're talking about communication, healing. What is this? Yeah. trying to reveal to you either how they feel or they're trying to communicate something that will create some form of like either surprise or a distraction. Yeah, six of cups. So that's what that is. You, Scorpio. This person wants to make themselves known to you or to rekindle something with you. All right. How does this person see Scorpio? Page of cups. Hmm. Why? Okay. The 10 of cups. So this person feels like you're being offered like maybe emotional offers here and they don't just really quite fit the bill. You're cautious about them. You could be curious, maybe a little open, but also it's kind of like, no, don't want that. Don't want that. So you're definitely being a little picky or choosy about the options that are in front of you or that are coming in. They feel like you're very hesitant to, to say yes. You're not pleased with the law and you're taking your time. You want maybe something perfect or you want something that's really going to make you smile, make you happy. And lately it's not. There may be some area of life that's just not growing or it's not abundant for you. You're not happy with it. Yeah. It's like you're needing to take accountability for your future or some changes that are happening, making adjustments, giving things time, but it's like you don't like waiting or you don't like stagnancy. You're, you're disturbed by that. Okay. Eight of swords. Oh, interesting. This is so interesting. Someone sees that you stay up in your head a lot. You really think about every little thing, every little detail. That's where your discontent comes from. That, you know, maybe you just know what, what the heck happened to the screen. Something happened. Maybe you just know what you want or you know what you like. And so you're not really going to settle. So this person likes that you are up in your head about things. Like you really think about them before you indulge or before you let loose. It's like you have to really, really want something if you're going to be involved at all. And somehow this is attractive. They may also feel like they, that you don't know what you really truly want and that leaves room for them to come in. This person is interesting. Yeah. They like like you're confused or they like when you think about your options a lot. Like you don't just say yes, just to say yes. Like you, you really have to like it or you have to like the person or something like that. Like you're real, you're real choosy is what it looks. Huh. Why do they like this? So interesting. 
Nine of Swords, and Ten of Cups. This is really familiar to them. That's interesting. They feel like that kind of energy is familiar to them. Like being picky or choosy or being, you know, thinking things through to make sure it's actually what you want before you invest in your time and energy. Okay. Well, okay. That makes sense. Ace of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles. Huh. A person feels like there's a relationship here that could happen. It could be a major commitment, especially down the line with the Ace of Pentacles. Like this could turn into something grand or big, but they also feel like you are not concerned with them or it. Like you... You really just have your focus somewhere else. You may kind of turn your back on this from time to time where they feel like you're not you're not as interested as they want you to be kind of thing. What's this with the King of Wands? Yeah. Seven of Wands. So interesting. So it's interesting because they feel like you know what you like, you know what's going to make you happy, you know what you want to eat or you know what you won't eat, whatever it is, you know things that make you happy, but it's like because you're so picky too at the same time you have a big wall up and a guard up. It's almost like you don't know a good thing when you see it too. So they like it but they also don't like it about you. Because you're so picky that you won't get into a relationship or you won't commit or I don't know, something like that. But they also like that you have um, refined taste, okay? Or whatever that is for you. So interesting. What's this person going to do to her? Wait, why is the seven of wands here? Yeah. Okay, yeah. You could have an attitude, Scorpio. Maybe you express yourself with like fire or passion. Um, when they're trying to be peaceful and you're kind of like irritable or you try to rile someone up. Maybe they do this to you. Who knows? Just saying. All right. So what's this person's next moves? <laughs> Queen of Cups. Lovers. Damn, Scorpio. Well, hate it or love it, they freaking love it. Someone's coming in with love, understanding, sweetness, kindness, empathy. This person really, really loves you. They're trying to play it safe. I feel like I said this in your reading and I'm not sure because I just I just did a Scorpio reading and someone felt like they had to kind of avoid some explosiveness about you or like you're kind of up in your head about something. And until you figure it out, like don't mess with Scorpio kind of energy. So it has to be like perfect timing where someone knows that they need to come in like softly to you <laughs> with all this love. So this is love Scorpio. Someone is being sweet and kind and wanting to work on your relationship, all that. There's an offer for love here. You could say things that are very honest, but it's mean. Like you say it in a way that's mean. Yeah, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, you could get like mad and you're ready to like never speak again or, you know, you get upset and you're focused on flaws type thing and you just dead the whole situation. So anyway, someone's coming in with love towards you, Scorpio. That's what I see here right now. They look like they're tiptoeing around. Now I know why. Okay. I don't see anything creepy or whatever here. I'm just seeing that someone's trying to protect, you know, communication when it happens, how it happens. And just to ensure that something goes smoothly. Yeah. Especially with the reactiveness that it looks like is in this reading somehow. Okay. Someone loves you, all right? Thank you, Scorpio. See you next time.
Hi, Sagittarius. Let's see how they see you. Who is the person? Five of Wands. You came up in Leo's too. This is Leo energy, Libra energy. Okay, someone is tapped out over here. You guys may have had a good rumble or a good go at something. And it looks like you guys are not seeing eye to eye right now. There's a little bit of conflict here. It's a challenge, okay? And it looks like someone wants peace or they're just trying to tap out for a minute. Let me get a roll. Okay, so six house, Venus and Aries. Wow. So this person feels like when you guys are trying to share love or show that you care, it's not received that way, or it turns into like a big debacle. So it goes sideways. Tell me about this five of wands. Yeah, the two, the two of pentacles. Oh, so the devil, someone is trying to avoid like a falling out or wrath or someone is trying to maintain equilibrium here. Yeah. Someone's trying to be at peace or at ease. Are they having difficulty doing that? How do they see Sag? Three of Wands. The Eight of Cups. Oh. The chariot. Damn, someone feels like you guys had these plans and it was going to go a certain way. Maybe you guys had a trip planned or you guys were going to visit one another. It could be, okay? There was future plans and all this. Then all of a sudden, you dropped out, Sagittarius, or you decided that it wasn't worth it or you decided you didn't care. There could have been a falling out here. And then it caused like a like a sudden split or a sudden dropping out. And so you're like, no, cancel the plans. I'm, I'm mad or I'm going to go by myself. I'm going to do something else. Okay. Like you're, you're, you're scrapping your plans in favor of something else here. Okay, six of cups. Wow. Yeah, so a person feels really connected to you. Like you guys have this really sweet energy with one another. You guys like to show each other you care. There could be an energy of trust here if there is a lapse in judgment or or trust or something like that. It's like you know how to fix it or you quickly fix and solve relationship concerns so that you can move on from it. Someone likes that. You could be attentive or intuitive in that way. Like you know when someone's feeling some type of way and how to snap them out of it or, you know, things like this. And you don't really stay in, you don't stay mad for long or you don't, You don't stay in one energy for too long. You also like to move around a lot or you like to be on the go. They like that. Someone feels like you're not taking something seriously enough to work on this relationship, someone feels like something here is a little bit one-sided. Like you're not working on changing the relationship for you two. It's like you're working on something that is beneficial for you. Okay. Um, now maybe this is that you can't end something in your life in order to fully invest or, you know, you've got other things on your mind, what have you. It just kind of keeps some sort of wall between you and this person. And this could be your work life. Okay, maybe you're a workaholic or you're really committed to success and creating changes in your life. And maybe the time is not right for you to invest in this relationship or what have you. There may also be other energies involved. Okay, 
it's like someone's competing for attention maybe could even be about work okay yeah yeah someone feels like you're not wanting to like take something to the next level or you're not either willing or able to, or they aren't. Okay. Like some big change needs to happen that would really scrap another situation or an entire situation. So you and they could move forward, but it appears to not be happening. And they really don't like that about the situation. It could cause a need to kind of like work around someone's schedule or creep around even. Okay. Like maybe you're really busy with work. Okay. Sure. Um, another new, someone could just be in a relationship that's causing difficulty or has other priorities, right? So this person's next moves. Aw. <laughs> Aw, that's cute. Someone misses you. This person misses you. You guys have a conversation coming in. It's communication. They're gonna say, sorry, I got mad or sorry, I said that, you know, can we... Can we give this another shot? There's two cups and two cups here. Yeah. So you guys are going to have an opportunity to make something right. A person feels bad about something. They're nervous. They could feel, you know, shy or embarrassed about however something went down. And there's truth here. The world. Oh, they're saying, okay, I won't do that again. Or... You know, how can we move on? Sagittarius, you guys may put a pause on this relationship. Yeah. Even if you're trying to communicate with them or they are about, hey, I'm so sorry, whatever, it actually results in a pause. Like this could be a Virgo here waiting to talk to you or waiting to make a relationship out of this for some. Damn, you guys have unfinished business though. Okay, I feel like there's gonna be a, a halt in, in that vibe, but there's an opportunity to rekindle something. May not be for some time, but I feel like people are doing some type of reflecting and there's like, I miss you vibes there as well. Okay, thank you, Sag. See you next time. Hi, Capricorn. Let's see who is in your energy and how they see you. So who is it first and foremost? It's a tower. Oh, goodness. All right. Yeah. So the world. Something is drastically shifting here in this person's energy. Wow. Neptune seventh house. No more illusions coming in. Okay. So like things have to come back down to ground or need to be grounded again. It's like stop being in cloud nine or there's reality that's coming into the situation. Okay. Yeah. So there's a revelation at hand. How do you see Capricorn? They see you as the three of cups. Ten of swords, damn. Capricorn. <laughs> you look so intense right here. So they feel like things are happy go lucky, things are good, you know, you guys are cheersing or there's a reconciliation here, but then like you you're a killjoy or you kill the joy of the situation by being honest or saying something or putting someone in their place like you really proven it to them or, or i don't know giving someone some sort of a lesson or like you should have learned twice or something like this i don't know someone feels like your words are very like cutthroat forward um you're being spicy okay you may also be like threatening an ending or a divorce you're actually doing it like you're like, screw you, it's done. Someone feels like you're being mean. <laughs> okay. All right. 
what's this about, please? Oh, okay, yeah. Well, that's the thing. It's like you're not happy with the future prospect of something. You may find out that someone was talking about you or um, there's like rumors or gossip going on. Why do they see Capricorn like this, all spicy and stuff? Okay, so they feel like you kind of, um, wow, the Nine of Wands. Someone feels like you've been pit, put through a lot here. Like, maybe you have um, bad memories or recurring, like, like, flashbacks that stress you out. It could be. Like you got some traumas or, you know, maybe you just don't trust this person. You find out you can't trust them. You're really wearing yourself thin here or the situation is. And this is causing you to be a little bit reactive, okay? Like you don't feel like you could trust someone anymore. I'm hearing abracadabra. So it's like something's being revealed. Yeah, you've been put through the ringer, Capricorn. And it's kind of like you're really letting someone know. All right. Wheel of Fortune. I feel like you're like pulling the rug out from someone's feet. Like they thought they knew you or they thought they had you in some situation. And it's like, nope, surprise, B, you know, something like that. Okay. Someone really likes when you're sweet, when you're loving, when you tell them how you're feeling, when you're, you know, tell them what's going on with you. They love your connection with them. This is love like a lot of it, they feel like you're usually very open, loving, sweet. Like you guys have a really strong connection with one another. You tell them your secrets. They like that. Hopefully no one's using secrets against someone. I mean, yeah, someone feels like you really know how to make someone feel at ease or at home. Okay. Like you could have really good communication or conversation. People love talking to you. You're exciting. You're funny. Things like this. Yeah, you put people at ease. Oh, okay. <laughs> so here's the thing, okay? This could be what this is about here too. It's like a person could be trying to plead their case and they're like, no, Capricorn, you're not understanding. That's not what happened. That's not what I said. But you're quick to dead the situation. It's like you're quick to find a flaw or you're quick to find someone maybe even slipping up or lying, okay? Like you end the whole party or you put a stop to the communication or gossip. If you found out something, you're not even willing to hear someone else's side of it, okay? So someone could feel like you're just very headstrong, like, okay, in general or regarding the situation that you're upset about. So I'm going to say it's about this situation, okay? Because that's what I'm seeing. They feel like you're not willing to hear their side or their perspective. Like you could have heard some, you know, somebody comes and tells you something about this person and you throw it in their face and you're not willing to hear what they think about it, you know? They also feel like you're not going to do something if you don't want to do it. You like you you won't. You just won't. You're like, why would I do that? I don't want to. So they may feel like you don't really like to, um, let's say compromise is the word. I don't know. Damn, what's going on? Like you... <laughs> This is like at home or with close friends or family. Like there's a, like a brawl or argument or something or your partner here. They're surprised. Like they thought things were okay. And then you pulled the rug out. Your mouth is like spitting venom. Yeah, for sure. Very spicy Capricorn. You really feel a type of way about something. You don't like it at all. Absolutely not. You let them know too. It's not like you're hiding it. So anyway, if you, if you want to mitigate any of that, I mean, be mindful of what you're saying. If you don't feel like it's that bad, just know that this person is experiencing it as a slight. Okay. <laughs> or more than that. Let's just say it like a slight. Okay. Just saying.
Okay. Someone feels like there's not peace or there's never like peace in the home or in the family. And there's always has to be stress or, you know, some sort of hatred or spite or jealousy, that kind of thing. Like someone feels like they're worried about that. Let's see what their next moves are. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like, um, yeah, who's this person again? So it looks like Virgo. Who is this person? Aquarius. Taurus. Ah, okay, Taurus energy. Uh, Leo Pisces. I feel like you hurt someone's ego or something like that. Like maybe they don't like hearing things, you know, that make them feel that way or make them feel small or whatever it is. Anyway, what's their next moves? Oh, I feel like they're trying to cool off or they're giving this some time, some space. There may be a water sign that wants to communicate with you or a Gemini. There could be a cancer or a Pisces, very strong Pisces energy. Um, there's a lot of love here, a lot of love, a lot of concern. Someone wants to offer you like love support. They want to give time, but also show you that they care. So that's what they're going to be doing. I feel like they're concerned. Why are they concerned? Okay. Yeah. They're really concerned that, you know, this is done and over with forever that like, you're not going to return, that you're not going to want to be part of the family or this relationship. Like you're going to leave and never come back. But this person has love to share with you. Thank you, Capricorn. I'll see you next time. Aquarius. Let's see. Okay, can't shuffle. Interesting. So I feel like you're having difficulty being on the same page with someone. This could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. Yeah. So your plans moving forward are being thwarted at this time, or you just feel that way. Yeah. Earth energy. Four of Pentacles. Hmm. What's this person doing? They're acting a little stuffy with you. Not generous with their time and energy. Yeah, for sure. The world card. Why the nine of cups? Seven of cups. Hmm. What's all this? Five of pentacles. Okay. There's someone that's kind of going inward or kind of focusing on self. It's like being spoiled for choice or feeling like there's a lot to feast on. Let's say, who is this? The 10th house. Yeah. Someone's finances needs to come back in order. You may be dealing with someone that likes to spend a lot and you know, there's a time and a place type thing. It's like you're indulging too much or you're getting away in some sort of illusion. Like all the water spirits are getting to them, making them listen to music or get into like substances okay so be like eating drinking or overdoing something it could also be making them spend a lot on the internet okay neptune yeah but someone needs to fix something it's like they're giving into something they're indulging a lot okay all right well how do they see aquarius two of wands You may be dealing in your day-to-day -day life with like a Sagittarius or an Aries. Someone feels like you're always like pressured or you always pick up the slack, Aquarius. Is that true? For them to say that they're seeing you this way is very interesting. Maybe you did this in the past and now you're changing your tune or you're changing the way that you approach this. Like they feel like they're kind of being left high and dry or you're stopping doing everything for them. So I don't know what that is. Maybe it's about money or energy or you're the one who makes the moves toward them. Okay. Why do they see Aquarius like this? It's like you got to change your focus because you have some other concerns in your life. Yeah. The four of pentacles. You're telling someone you can't always give or you can't always be generous, be it with your money or your time. And this person's like, what are you talking about? 
Okay, maybe you're giving someone advice and they don't like it too. Like, hey, please don't do this anymore. Or you're spending too much time on that, too much money on that. Don't do that. And they're like, what are you talking about, Aquarius? Okay. You look like you have a lot on your plate here. What is this two of wands? Justice. It's like you want someone to... Um, do some other role or some other part. They know this, that they need to pick up some, some of the slack here so that you can have some time. It looks like you're getting burnt out and you need a little bit of support or you need to know that someone's on the same team with you, same page with you. And right now you may have told them that's not what's happening. Okay. It looks like there's communication about that. Like you're kind of getting burnt out, trying to hang in there. Like you were excited at first a lot and now it's less so, or you have less energy. Okay. They like your can do attitude. Like you're real confident. Yeah. You're a peacemaker too. Okay. Someone feels like you know how to make your home run a certain way or your family run a certain way. You feel strongly about that. Now this could be a business. You're really confident in that. You showcase your skills and you're confident in doing that. You're really grounded and stable. You pay attention to your home, your environment. You pay attention to your loved ones a lot. What's this? Yeah, Ten of Cups. Wow. This person may feel like you're, you're super confident because you have a good family backing or you're super confident about knowing family is important to you and the people around you, you pick wisely or you choose them wisely. Home is where the heart is, is your energy. You can be the head of a household or the head of an organization or business. Okay. I'm hearing you're the oldest. Okay. I mean, you don't have to be the oldest. Maybe this is in a family or, you know, it doesn't have to be. It's just that something here is like leadership energy. Also, you show up even when there's bad weather, okay? Like even when the vibe is off, you still show up, you still are confident or you, you like you keep your word is what I want to say, especially for your family. Okay, cover that. Okay, six of swords. Hmm. So apparently there's times that you're really family oriented and very focused on home and, you know, us. But lately, or there's certain times where you're starting to kind of withdraw, okay? It's looking like you're becoming more optimistic about your life alone, you kind of tapped out emotionally. That doesn't mean you're not there. Like you could be physically somewhere, but not emotionally connected. That's kind of what they're saying. Like they may feel like you're not as invested, as um, optimistic as you once were about your relationship. This is surprising to them. It's almost like you were there until you weren't like, it's like one day to the next. It's like, I'm here. I'm all in. I'm doing all the things, you know, lots of energy, lots of passion, lots of excitement, you know, get everything done, blah, blah. But you turn around and you notice that someone's like sitting on the couch, like eating chips, watching TV or something. Okay. Cause it's like, you're saying you're not feeling supported. And in instead of them getting up and helping you, they just live off of it. That's okay. This could be a very extreme, uh, you know, metaphor, but you get what I'm saying. So because you're realizing, Hey, Whoa, I've been doing all this and someone's kind of sitting there. It's causing you to pull back. And someone here is seeing you become more independent and more withdrawn. Okay. So let's see, that's surprising to them. It's almost like they feel they're on the chopping block or like they need to get their life in order. This person has everything they want right now, but there's a shift here. So you're withdrawing. 
it's like you're not giving them either your money, your energy, your time like you were. Damn, that sucks. It's like when you're all in one day and then the next day you're off. That's wild. See, I feel like you need time off is what this feels like. Okay. Or alone time or whatever. Time to change your vibe, your mood. What is this person's next moves? Okay, the devil, the two of swords. Okay. The druid. This person doesn't appear to be doing too much. Especially if there's a choice to be made. It's not. There's a little bit of a stalemate coming in. Something is not changing. Maybe it's going to take a minute for someone to realize your position is what I want to say. Okay. Because right now someone has it okay or really good. It's either way depending on your, the situation, right? It's going to take them a minute to realize that you kind of retreated maybe energetically. Okay. You got me? Yeah. I'm seeing stagnancy here. That's their next moves. Let me see what else. Anything else? You have the star card. Okay. 10th house. Okay. Wow. They will come into contact with the energy of like inspiration. It's like they're suddenly going to feel an urge and desire to change. There's something coming in in their career that they want to get in contact with. Maybe this has been a break or a change that has been in the making for quite some time and there's a stalemate, but now there's going to be a change. Okay. So there's going to be I feel like this person's inspired by you too. They're going to be inspired to come towards you, but it's like almost like they need to feel the distance or the lack first or the support withdrawn. Do you understand? Anyway, they're going to come back into contact with you after giving time and space. I'm also seeing they're coming back in contact with their goals and their aspirations. And there's a blessed period coming in. Now, this person may be moving into the energy of like spouse or there's a new status coming into their life. Maybe it's a position they're taking on in society. Okay. It could be even like mother, father type energy. Sure. All those things. Um, I'm seeing mostly a change in like, um, status. It could be like career is what I want to say. Okay. Yeah. It's going to take a minute, but I see that they're going to feel like an urge or urgency, excitement, and that's where it starts. Just saying, after some stagnancy. <laughs> Thank you, Aquarius. I hope you enjoyed that or at least gave you some sort of clarity or confirmation. And I will see you next time. Hi, Pisces. How are you? Let's see who is in your energy and how they see you. Okay, love. Wow. Immediately. Someone's coming in with love. Someone loves you. Do you love them too? What's this person doing? Okay, yeah. Someone wants to make it clear to you what they want out of this connection. It looks like you guys are going to come down to it. Okay. You guys need a conversation. So yeah, six house, Jupiter and Virgo energy. Wow. This person wants to talk about consistency, what your relationship looks like. I feel like you guys are going to be spending a lot of time together or like the connection feels very up close and personal. People are really getting to understand the situation. I feel like they want more or someone does. Someone wants more, more, more. Okay. How they see Pisces. Well, you ghosted. Is that why? Is that why they want more? What was this? The Pisces um, Merlin. That's Hermit the Crab, by the way. Eight of Swords. Eight of Wands. Okay. 
someone feels like you kind of retreated. Okay. This is someone who feels like you guys reached a certain point. Maybe there was consistency here. There was daily communication, daily uh, closeness or bonding or what have you. And a lot of love. I'm telling you that this person does have feelings and you probably know that, but they see you as being real quiet over there. Quiet as a mouse, quiet as a church mouse. You like really reflecting on things. Okay. What is this? Okay. Because you don't know what to do. Maybe this is about continuity and whether your situation is going to go the distance. You may also feel like, you know, you don't want to be in a space of being completely vulnerable. This could have to do with physical relation as well. Maybe you're like, is that all this is? It could be what you're thinking. So you're in your head a lot about what to do, how you feel, what you want, or something along those lines. At, at least that's how they see you. Okay, Seven of Pentacles. Someone likes that you like chilling at home. <laughs> Four of Cups. A person really likes like you like downtime. You like to like relax or, you know, maybe you like napping and you feel very comfortable at home. Like you're at, you're in your happy place when you're at home. Someone feels like you don't really need company. You don't have to keep up with the Joneses. You know, you're just really happy in your own space. Someone loves this about you. They feel like, wow, that's so unique. Like you don't have to always be, you know, in contact with people on the phone with people or running around town with people. Like you just chill. Like they like that you're chill, that you relax. Okay. That you take your time, stuff like that. Like you're self-fulfilled in that way. Oh, there's a dong there. All right. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Huh. Someone feels like you won't like let them in. They don't like that. It could be, yes, yeah, some aspect of vulnerability. They may feel like they're trying to be there for you in some way, give you support in some way, but you don't want it. It may be that, you know... They're trying to even give you something. It could be here, Pisces, take this, or I want to get this for you. And you don't really want that. They may feel like you're stuck on someone. Like someone who was perfect or, you know, maybe you just saw them that way. It could be like a Scorpio or something or a Taurus. You could be mourning a person or you're sad about someone right now. It could be a family member. Okay, sure. They may feel like you're too focused on a past experience to recognize something good that's right in front of your face. Like a good opportunity. It's like Pisces, look over here or something like that. I'm here, Pisces. Eight of Cups, yeah. Eight of Pentacles. Like you won't allow someone to be able to fix something or to fix the situation, help you or be loving towards you or, you know, be there for you when you're sad. Like you don't let someone do that. Maybe you just like being alone or you want this person to leave you alone. So what's that Ace of Pentacles here? Yeah, someone feels like you don't accept help or if someone wants you to open up, you don't do it. Or like, I feel like someone wants to be of use to you, of value to you in some way. And they can't find a place for that in your life. It's almost like you're, you're so self-fulfilled that they don't know how to be loving to you when they want to show love but they feel like you're kind of not there for that or you shut that ish down type thing. Yeah. You, maybe you don't care for that. I don't know. Like you won't let them fix something. Does that make sense? 
And it may be the relationship itself. Like you won't give them a chance to redeem themselves. Okay. Could be. <laughs> All right. Yeah. This may be a water sign or an Aquarius. Hmm. I'm hearing sea moss. What's that about? Sea moss, maybe of significance. Damn. Someone feels like you don't even care to maintain conversation with them. I don't know. All right. What's this person's next moves when they want to, like they want to maintain with you, but they're having trouble finding space in your life. Oh, damn. They're causing the freaking. Ten of Swords to the freaking Temperance. Yeah. They're like, how long do I have to hold this position for? I don't know. Yeah. So this person is trying to give some time for like you to heal or for you to get over something. So I don't know whatever happened, but it's definitely on your mind. And it's got you in a space of not really knowing what to do here. Okay. So someone knows that you're kind of between a rock and a hard place. I do see them... Wow, 10th house and freaking Virgo and Venus. Like a person's trying to be of value or of assistance to you and they're having a hard time doing so. It's like they're allowing you space or time. Yeah, they're still here though. It, it's not going to feel like they're there, Pisces, but they are somewhere in the background or what have you. It's like... They're changing their approach in some way and kind of taking a step back. I don't know how long they're going to be there, though, Pisces. That's the one thing. Maybe you don't want it. Sure, that's fine. What's after this? Let's see. Yeah. See, I feel like they're going to give this time. Yeah, they're going to try to come in again. I'm telling you. All right. Thank you, Pisces. Hopefully that gave you some sort of confirmation or clarity and I will see you next time.